Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I will be doing my 3CE lip collection for you guys where I will be doing specific individual review of all of the collection. I think I have about 8 slash 9 collection in here. There are some that are already discontinued which I will probably start from there and then the way I will do it is I will show you guys the discontinued one and then slowly go into the ones that have the least longevity to the most longevity longevity and I'll also mention my favorite lip colors from some of this collection as well as putting the links down in the comment box below where you guys can get the lip products from so without further ado we're going to get started the first one that is discontinued is this 3CE Lily MAC matte lipstick I've had this for like probably three plus years now as you can see the packaging is amazing and the reason this is one of the reasons why I fell in love with 3CE along with some of their other matte lipsticks um, these are also the older ones and I've actually gotten rid of like some of the first few ones that I first reviewed but I'll just put them all together because all of these are discontinued anyway but these are basically the matte lipsticks that 3CE probably first came out and it was like really really popular Back in those days, you know, those few years ago, Korean lipsticks are not really known for matte lipsticks. They tend to go more like velvety, um, a little bit glossy and sheer. So 3CE was one of the Korean brands that actually released matte lipsticks like this, you know, to like sort of similar like Western ones. So when this first came out, I was like all over it. I was like, man, amazing lipstick. Love it so much. Even though it's dry on my skin, I still love it because it is an awesome matte. But looking back at that now, um, this is actually very, very drying compared to other matte lipsticks that you can find out in Korean beauty brands. So would I recommend this? Probably not and also can't recommend it because obviously they are discontinued. However, with this 3CE matte lipstick, they do have new colors, which I feel the formula has gone slightly better, but not as um, moisturizing as before and the new ones that I um, that I have are this two one and this are from the mood recipe I think mood recipe collection and this two I did like a get ready with me where I did a review for you guys as well and again this they're amazing and I mentioned in that video is that if you want to apply this I would definitely recommend putting a lip liner underneath and then put it the lipstick on top because because of how matte it is it doesn't cover up the inner part of your lips hence why i recommend using lip liner and so it just gives you a better coverage it doesn't show your dry patches which is good it doesn't show your fine line but it just feels a little bit too matte on the lips but i'm used to like matte lips so it's okay but yeah if i were to recommend any of this i would definitely recommend this one which is smoke rose which is a beautiful mauvey rose shade in terms of the longevity this lasts only about two to three hours so longevity is actually definitely not that long Another discontinued products are this 3CE Scarlet Lipstick. They look very, very adorable and honestly the reason why I bought this is because I was sucker of this packaging. It looks like a little book and when you open up, the lipstick is in there. I mean, how cute is this? Like, I was, I was so obsessed. Oh, trying to open it. Yeah. So it comes like this and when they first release, it comes with six lipsticks and it's really odd because it come up with one glossy and five velvety finish. However, with the velvety lipstick, it is leading towards the matte and then the glossy is actually really sheer and glossy. And all this lipstick bullet, I call it lipstick bullet, it legit look like a bullet. Look, it is a rounded tip. And I sort of barely touch it, but yeah, this is how it looks like. And all the colors look very, very bright, very neon. I When I swatched them on my arms again for you guys, I couldn't believe how amazing the colors are. And I was a little bit gutted that I haven't used it, honestly, for years. So a little bit gutted and obviously it has sort of expired. So I'm not going to put them on my lips, but I want to keep them just in case. I want to do comparisons, but now I realize that they've discontinued. There's not much point really for me to actually keep them. 
I have already discussed the products that are already discontinued so we're going to focus on the least longevity to the most longevity and the first one would be this 3CE Slain Velvet Lipstick so obviously this is a velvety finish but for me it is a mix between a velvety and a matte finish and this one when you do apply it does show quite a bit of your dry patches especially the lighter colours it comes in five colours and then obviously you can see it consists of coral to pink, orange and peach shades and for me, this one, the longevity is only about 2-3 hours. I do have a favourite and my favourite is Muse Filter, which obviously is a very pinky, pretty colour. Next, I have this 3CE Velvet Lip Tint, which I absolutely love back when they first released it. This one, I feel like it is very beautiful, but it's only built up just enough so it is opaque but not as opaque as like this or like a liquid lipstick type it's more like a obviously like a tint in regards of the texture it's like a moussey texture when you do apply it on your lips but it feels really hydrating feels very moisturizing and reminds me a lot of the Pede Peda ink velvet tint now this one I currently have 10 colors in my collection I'm pretty sure there are some that I've missed where they have released a little bit here and there my favorite color would be near and dear which I absolutely love because it's like a beautiful nudie pinky shade which I call like my MLBB shade. Now with the colors, the, the ones I have in consists of a lot of brown, orangey, purple and red color. In regards of the longevity, the lighter shades only last up to 2 hours and the darker colors last up to 4 hours. And whether it stains on your lip, this one however do not stain your lip which is great. But again, this one is great for those who don't want anything too heavy on the lips this is definitely great because it still gives you that color and oh my god the smell of this is like amazing like it smells like like salted caramel for me I mean if you guys don't like strong scented smell don't worry because it does fade off when you, once you actually apply it on your lip Next are this 3CE Glaze Tint. I do have five with me and I am missing one particular color which is really popular called Classic Coral. I was very surprised that this longe longevity actually beat the 3CE Velvet Lip Tint. This one, the longevity lasts about up to five hours but the lighter color lasts only about three hours. Now with this one, obviously the finish is like a glossy finish. It looks a little bit sheer but you can definitely see the color popping up when you do apply this on your lips. A lot of these shades also lean towards like the warm shade even though you have colors like pink, like orange and like red but it does have quite a bit of red undertone to most of it as well. My favorite color for this would definitely be rose pink because it's like obviously like a mauve pink. It looks very natural on my lips. Now in regards of it, whether it stains on your lips, it does stain quite a little bit so just be mindful of that. Second to last are the 3CE Soft Lip Laker, which up to now I still absolutely love. I have 13 shades as my collection. I'm not sure how many they have now, but yeah, I do have 13 shades because uh, I think for probably a few months ago they added three more, which obviously I have in here. A lot of these colors, honestly, just think right now, think of one color they will definitely have it here like from a nude shade to a brown shade to an orange shade pink red even purple which is what i'm currently wearing right now i'm wearing almost mauve and i still love this color like it's not often you get a korean beauty brand that really nude shades brown shades or purple shade they are starting to do a little bit more of that but i feel like 3ce was one of the first korean beauty brand that ever do other colors other than pink or red or orange or coral you know like this whole collection i love it so much it was so hard for me to pick one color that i absolutely love to show you guys but i've picked two which is imposing which is the latest one and also almost mauve in regards of the texture it is a matte finish but it doesn't feel drying on the lips doesn't show any of your dry patches it applies so nicely and with this one the applicator is very very different from the other um, applicators in 3ce because it is a shorter wand which i actually don't mind because it is when the texture is actually quite flowy when you do apply so i actually don't mind having such a stubby applicator to actually apply this on my lips in regards of the longevity it is quite lasting it lasts about six hours or so depending on what you do obviously and 
if you want it to last longer feel free to always put lip liner but I am always happy just wearing it like this I did mention before with the darker colors sometimes it's a hit and miss when you do apply because it might give you an uneven finish but today using almost Morby I feel like the application actually looks really nice without a lip liner so yeah, but I just absolutely love this collection a lot and the scent for this I think I just poked my <laughs> It does smell a little bit like the 3CE Velvet Lip Tint Smell a bit like a vanilla caramel scent But again, I can't smell anything on my lips now So yeah One last thing about the Soft Lip Laker is that there's no staining at all which is perfect On to our last collection and these are the 3CE Cloud Lip Tint which I believe is their latest collection in 3CE and oh my god I said like for the last few years I said I love this soft lip laker but once they release this Cloud Lip Tint I love this way 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 more and the reason for that obviously a lot of these colors are a lot of warm colors. It consists of um, 12 colors in here. The colors that are missing in this collection are coral and purple shade. I feel like if they do add those in this collection, this would be like mega perfect collection ever, okay? Like seriously, ever in 3CE. But because they missed those, I hope they do add them eventually. This would definitely beat the soft lip laker anytime. But at the moment, soft lip laker's shade ranges still has quite a bit compared to the cloud lip tint. I feel like with the cloud lip tint, they can release a little bit more of a cooler shade as well, brighter shade, maybe. But this one consists a lot of like warmer dark shade, which I absolutely love a lot. The longevity for this lasts about eight hours as well, which is amazing. But do keep in mind that some of this do have like quite a bit of staining as well when you actually do remove it off your lips. In terms of the texture, obviously it is very, very light on the lips. It gives you a matte finish and obviously it's a tint. I feel like with this particular collection, it reminds me of the Soft Lip Laker and the Velvet Lip Tint. You mix them together, they make babies, you get the Cloud Lip Tint. So if you like the Velvet Lip Tint, you like the texture, you like how comforting it is, but you want something that is more opaque, more pigmented obviously you go for the lip laker right but because the lip laker is a little bit more thicker a little bit more drying potentially and obviously a matte finish you want something a little bit more down tone or like lighter this would be the perfect match okay like not only this is pigmented it's beautiful it feels comforting it is long lasting it is a matte finish it just feels great on your lips and the color ranges even though it's still a little bit limited for me I love the color ranges and it's just suitable for anybody any skin tone amazing collection and the other thing I've noticed with this is the applicator is very unique it is like a triangular shape and much more flatter which I honestly don't mind because it gives me much more of a sharper finish the scent is also the same as the Velvet Lip Tint and the Soft Lip Laker where it smells a bit like vanilla and caramel as well. And my favorite shade in this collection is Fairy Cake because it is a beautiful pink shade. You can see a pattern. I just love a lot of pink shades. So I hope you guys enjoy my 3CE collection and my thoughts on all of them. Let me know if you have tried any of this or any of the ones that I've missed because I think I must have missed quite a few. 3CE lip collection as well but these are my collection I hope you guys enjoy this and I am thinking of doing like a YouTube house lip collection next let me know down below if you guys are interested and I'll see you guys on my next video bye guys